Hi, this is Jeff Hicks. Today I want to walk you through using the troubleshooting pack that is a new feature in Windows 7. The troubleshooting pack is kind of a, a wizard that is a collection of PowerShell scripts to identify and resolve a lot of common problems that you might run into in a Windows 7 desktop. Now even though it's PowerShell and these scripts are located under Windows Diagnostics System, you'll see a list of other folders. For example, if I look at the audio, you can see a bunch of PowerShell scripts. Don't worry too much about that. You do not have to run those scripts individually. In fact, you probably should not. What we're going to do to access this troubleshooting pack, the easy way is to use the wizard, the GUI, through the control panel. So we're going to go to Control Panel, System and Security, and Find and Fix Problems. Now this Windows 7 desktop that I'm on has a problem that it doesn't play any audio files. So I need to troubleshoot audio playback. As you see, this does require elevated privileges, which I already have. So I'm going to click the link here, and up pops the wizard. And it says, oh, you're going to troubleshoot playing audio such as playing sounds or other music files gives you a description of what the troubleshooting pack is going to try to resolve. By default, the troubleshooting pack will try to fix the problem automatically. It will repair it. I click that advance and I'm just going to uncheck to re apply repairs automatically because I want to see what it's going to do and I want you to understand what it's going to do. I'm now going to click Next now all of those PowerShell scripts were running and as you can see it does not take very long to identify what the problem is and the troubleshooting pack detected that hey one or more required audio services are not running in this case as you can see from the description there both the Windows Audio and the Windows Audio Endpoint Builder services must be running in order to work correctly. And it shows you there, hey, what you need to do to fix this is start the required services. So I'll leave that checked. Click Next. PowerShell under the hood takes care of everything for me. And in the GUI, then it brings back and shows me, yep, the problem has been found. It has been fixed. Uh, I could close the troubleshooter at this point because there's really nothing else to be fixed. Um, I really don't have any additional options I'm too worried about because I've already fixed the problem. I don't have to search uh, TechNet or MSDN or get help from someone else. But I do want to show you this detailed information because this could be helpful. I can print out a report if I need to attach this to some sort of trouble system, ticket system that I might have. And that I can see that what problem I fixed, fixing you know one or more audio services were not running, gives me the detail there. I can see that it's fixed. I can see what problems it worked on. I can also look at the detection details, which will show me the computer name, the, the version, architecture, and the date and time when this problem was resolved. So I'll just click Next. Uh, takes me back to this screen here and I'm really finished at this point so I can just click close. Now you, you can do this also as well from PowerShell if you don't want to use the GUI because using the control panel only works interactively. But in PowerShell you can use the GUI, I'm sorry, you can use the commandlets to do this. There is a module, I'm going to do the import module troubleshooting pack and this has a module commandlet called get troubleshooting pack and I have to specify the path and the path is C for the audio one is C Windows Diagnostics System audio. Spelling does count. There we go. So there is that same troubleshooting pack and if I wanted to I could go ahead and invoke it. Invoke invoke troubleshooting pack 
Now, because I've already solved the problem, this isn't going to find any issues. It'll go through its checks, and I really don't have any issues here, so I'm just going to uh, exit out of that. What I can do, just I'll quickly duplicate the problem I had before, which is to basically stop those services. Okay, so let's pretend that someone messed things up. Now if I go and run that troubleshooting pack again, let me get back to my previous command. Okay, so I'm going to get the audio troubleshooting pack and pipe it to invoke troubleshooting pack. And it says, oh, I can see that one or more services were not running. Do you want to run this and fix the problem? And I can say yes by typing 1, because that is the menu choice that it's showing me there. Hit enter. I get my resolution. And boom, I'm all finished. As you can see, this is a very quick and easy way, a very structured way to troubleshoot and resolve problems on your Windows 7 desktop.